idea for this class was born when Professor Olson in chemical engineering gave me a call and said, hey, I think we can actually have a meaningful impact on this particular problem, but I need an environmental engineer to help me out. I was on a flight actually when I was on sabbatical from Brazil to Hong Kong, which is a particular form of misery. That's two intercontinental flights, so that's tough. And um, there was just a generate an awful lot of trash. Is there going to be like a puppy? I was also impressed that you know the airline has an exceptional amount of control because they control what's brought on board and they control to some degree how it goes off board. This is the type of class that going into MIT I imagined and like really dreamed about because it's super hands-on and it's solving a real-world problem. So we talk to maybe a little bit about conceptual boundaries. Airlines are faced with a challenge of having to lightweight everything that's on board so that they can minimize their greenhouse gas equivalent emissions. In order to do that, it helps if their food service equipment is made out of plastic. Polymers are lightweight, cheap, robust. The disadvantage, of course, is that we tend to only use our plastic service goods once. The other thing you might want to consider in your designs is the casing material. So we had this idea, could we work with the airline industry in this highly controlled environment to try to develop new approaches to sustainability. This one should probably just come together right now. The really exciting part is that it's revolved around a partnership with Delta. And what they're looking for is a reusable cup that they can use on flights that is ultimately recyclable, but most importantly is reusable so that we don't have so much single-use plastic waste. One of the things about capstone classes that's kind of a requirement is that the technology has to be sufficiently far along that you could design or scope a real implementable solution. As a senior, they're studying chemical engineering. I have a lot of theoretical background, but since I plan on going into industry, I really wanted to have that more industrial side of things. Of course, you have to understand the science behind the product you're making. And then you have to understand how to do design. And design of a lot of these products is a very human aspect. And then you have to understand, of course, end of life and waste and environmental considerations. And these expertises have traditionally been separate. And so we're really lucky to have so many people coming together, contributing their own knowledge, trying to produce a holistic experience for those students. That's why we have a bunch of guest lectures. To production, use, and end of life where they kind of map each of these new spaces on here. So we want to train experts that have deep expertise, but we also want to cross train them to talk to each other because that's where the tractable solutions are born. Use and discard and collection. I actually partnered with the mechanical engineering student and that's been another really cool aspect of the class, getting that interdisciplinary work. Since I'm learning a lot about what she has learned in her classes and how our different competencies really fit together on this project. The course actually is organized in two parts. There's a first semester where we do the learn the theory, do the design and the workshopping. It's a lot of interviewing of customers, trying to discover what their needs are and make sure that the design is kind of ready for them. So you want to stand here so you have easy access. So we're going to have what we're calling pitch days. And so if you could connect to Zoom and Team Delta, can you hear? We're assembling a panel of judges that includes some professors, some airline industry experts, procurement people, who waste disposal and management people at airport. Hubs. So that integrated panel of judges will actually select a winner for this design competition. These little wings on the bottom here. The cleaning agents did reuse bolt cup in the space constrained cabin. Where is the cost of washing? That's spillage or potential spillage. An affordable, reliable commodity plastic disposable cups are in the other category. There's so many, so many problems to solve. We present we knew that need people thinking about them and coming up with solutions from production to onboard use and wash and finally to its end of life. So it's been amazing to be able to learn about them and figure out which ones I'm most passionate about and which mesh most well with what I want out of my future. Thank you all for your time and be happy to take questions. Okay, so at this point in time, Professor Olson and I are gonna deliberate and we'll be right back. So if folks wanna hang out to find out the winners, we'll be downloading the feedback that we just got. We'll wait a couple minutes to make sure that all the entries are in. We'll review that quickly. One of the key learnings. And then come back in to announce the winning teams.
Okay, so the runner-up, it's um, Molly and Danielle. This is rice paper sustainable oh. confetti. Oh. Um, yes, $1,000 prize. And, uh, yeah, that's and wild. The $2,000 um, winning design is going to go to Team Renew. <laughs> okay. Second semester is optional. That's where the students are using our new sustainable polymer systems lab to actually make the stuff that they designed in semester one. People spend their life experimenting and discovering. And it's important we do that in our education too. So I, I think this is viewed as an experiment. And if it can be successful, it points a way forward for how we can provide students with relevant knowledge and training and do problem solving in the future.